When constructed in 1885 by the French, the Statue of Liberty was bright reddish copper brown. So, how did the statue turn this iconic green? Well, New York's air got to it. Copper oxidized first into a pinkish red cuprous oxide and further into a more stable but blackish cupric oxide. The polluted New York air contained sulfur trioxide. It combined with cupric oxide in presence of moisture and formed blue-green and green minerals of copper and sulphate. But the sea spray that added more character to Lady Liberty. Chloride from dissolved sea salt being more reactive swapped positions with sulphate giving the olive green mineral of copper and chloride that we see today.